Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about broadcast channel and how it helps in our Angular 16. Let's understand what is a broadcast channel. So let me quickly go into the next slide. So here is an example. I'm running one of the Angular application in one of my browser tab and the same application I'm running in the three different tabs. And when the user logs out of this particular browser, I want to log out all the places wherever it is locked in in our browser. So for example, I'm in a profile page here and I clicked on the logout. Immediately when I go to the another tab, it should navigate back to the login page and user should not perform anything until unless he logins. So this is how the broadcast channel works. It helps us to send some set of data to other tabs where the application is same and whatever we are sending the data from here it can be received in browser 2 browser 3 and browser 4 so here it is a sender and is it is a receivers or also called as source and the target these three will become the target for this source so that's how we can use a broadcast channel now let me quickly go into visual studio code for this example to understand let me create one of the routing concept over here and then we'll come up across how to do the functional logic so let me use ng generate component and the component name is i'll use login component and hit enter as i am using this application with standalone all my components will be created with standalone component and let me create ng generate component and the component name is dashboard let me hit enter now we have created all our components in this for the UI purpose I'll just go to index.html and I'll use bootstrap CSS so let me go here and copy the CDN let me paste here now the CDN is ready with us and just format this now we can use bootstrap in our application so let me go into app.component.html and see we have the router outlet over here and now let me remove all this and also let's configure our routes so let me save this and go to your route.tss and then here let me create a basic route which is empty and I want to redirect to login which we will be creating now and path match is full I'll just use full path match now let me use one more object over here which is a path where the path is pointing to login and the component is login component it's very simple routing so I don't want to use advanced routing because we generally focus on the broadcast channel in this so let me use dashboard and the component name is dashboard component so this is about our routing and let's check this routing if you want to learn more about advanced concepts of routing I have a series in routing please watch that for better understanding let me go here and go to your angular and you can see uh, login works so now let me go into login component and create all our stuff over here let me go to HTML and let me create a design over here already I have some set of design with me so let me get that design for our login component and paste here and also we have some set of validations and the form controls which I wrote so for that sake let me copy that login related form groups and paste over here this is something which already I created let me save this and we have something called as login for this login functionality we will be writing over here let me save this and save this now when the user clicks on login we will be getting the username and the password this is just a dummy username and password we are not doing anything with this so let me write one logic over here that is nothing but local storage dot set item of I want to pass a token and the token whatever I want to pass I'll be using a random token math.random which will give a random number and I'll be give I'll be converting into string so that local storage will accept a string now let me save this after token is generated and put it in the local storage I want to navigate the user to router.navigate I want to navigate but you're not getting the intelligence let's see where it imported it imported from Express but I want to get it from angular router so let me go here and I want to navigate the user to dashboard and just save this 
and we need this form groups to work in our application so I want to import reactive forms module save this now we got the reactive forms module from our angular forms so we are done with this let me go here and you can see some emails and passwords I saw something like H there is some code which added over here let me save this go here and you are able to see this email address and let me go into the storage and clear the site data complete site data I'm just clearing off and go here nothing is there over here let me add sai at the rate gmail.com this is not doing anything in our case just for our user interaction and understanding I created this login page and click on this now you got the token and we have navigated to the dashboard inside this dashboard I want to write some UI so for that sake let me go into dashboard logic dashboard.html already the UI is ready with me copy and paste this so already the UI is ready with me and we need one logout functionality so let me go into the TS and create one function when the user clicks on logout this has to execute let me save this now go back and you can see all this right now what I'll do is I'll just copy this this is the second tab and let me open one more tab over here and this is the tab third tab let me clear this off and when the user clicks on logout in this particular in any one of it for example if I log out here it has to log out in the remaining states as well so to achieve that we will be using a broadcast channel let me create our broadcast channel in our app component app.component.ts and we'll be creating one broadcast channel over here and we will listen to that whenever there is an event happen on that broadcast it will be listened by all the listeners so let me uh, write our broadcast channel over here so how to write the broadcast is it's a class in JavaScript and we can create our class so to use that what I'll just do is I'll export one broadcast channel let me use broadcast channel and this is a new broadcast channel which is a plain JavaScript class we can use this and you have to give the name for this broadcast channel for example I am giving authentication broadcast you can write a number of broadcast channels in your application so let me save this now what I'll do is on the load of my constructor I'll just write some set of broadcast channels events so for example we have a broadcast channel over here and this broadcast channel have one method that is nothing but on message that means if someone sends some data this will listen so on message will receive some set of event and that event will be your data so whatever the event that message is sending that can be tracked over here so let me write one console over here for now and event. so this will act like an receiver so let me go here all the three tabs has been reloaded and now this event should received by someone so that means someone should send the data where I have to send the data the data should be sent on the logout so let me go into dashboard.html already we have the logout over here let me go into dashboard.ts and let me close this yep so inside this logout so we need to write our logic to send some data via broadcast that means whenever the user clicks on logout that should send some data to your logout logic so let me go here and just use something called as logout so this dot router dot navigate off I want to navigate to the login page once the user clicks on logout but we need some set of router over here let me use private and router with router class now we can navigate to the particular login page and this router I got it from Express let me remove this and import it from angular router so now we got logout but we have to send some data to our broadcast so how can we send the data to the broadcast broadcast channel dot post message you have something called as post message and you can send any of the message to this for example I want to send a log out message save this now whenever you post this message it will directly send to all the listeners of our application but it will not send to the 
application which we are hitting for example i am trying to hit logout in the tab 1 then tab 1 will not listen to that but remaining tabs will listen to that so for that sake let me comment this for now let me save this and this broadcast channel i have imported from our app component because already we are exporting there let me go here and just go to the console and clear this off when the user clicks on logout if you go here we didn't see any console but if you go to the remaining tabs let me open this and console you can see there is an event over here that is nothing but message event and the data whatever we are passing that is nothing but logout so this data is passed by us so whatever i am sending over here that will be posted on your data now what i want to do here is let me go into app.component.ts and i am writing one event that is nothing but event dot data when my data is equal to logout the same string whatever we used whenever we are sending then what I'll do is I'll navigate this guy to navigate constructor private and I want to get something called as a router and let me use router over here and then I'll use this router not from express I don't know why it is importing always from express but let me get it from router and this router I can use for navigation dot navigate off I want to go into login but if you see we have two constructors that's why it is showing uh, error let me cut this and paste here remove this constructor let me save this now when the user listens an event and that event contains a data with logout then I immediately navigates to the login page let me go here and now let me inspect both of them so that you will be seeing that console and the navigations what it is happening over here let me go here and clear it off now I'm in the source this is my first tab and everywhere I'm in the dashboard so if I log out here it should log out everywhere so let me click on log out now nothing happened in this page but let me go into the second tab you are in the login page if you go into the third tab you are in the login page and the event has been triggered but why it is not navigating back to the login in my first tab so if you remember I mentioned in the slide the listeners can listen this but the source can't listen this so for that sake whenever I am sending some data on to the broadcast even before sending I'll just perform that action if you go into dashboard dot ts let me perform this action and save this now go here now I am in the dashboard let me reload and let me go into the dashboard or login let me login over here one two three four five six seven some random stuff and I logged in here now let me go and navigate to the dashboard directly and let me go here and navigate to the dashboard slash dashboard yep and let me copy this and put it over here and hit enter now all the three tabs are in dashboard page now what I'll do is uh, now my source is third one that is third tab when I log out from third tab it should log out in this first and second let's see that now I am logging out I logged out in the first if you go to the second it logged out if you go to the third it logged out that means we are able to communicate between the tabs in our angular application and that can be happened by using broadcast channel alone you may be getting some doubts like why we are not using window dot add listener or window dot dispatch event or we can create the custom events but why we are not doing that the only reason is whenever we are using dispatch event on the window that will work only in this specific tab but it will not communicate with the other tabs with the same application so I'll make a video for you for clear understanding on window.dispatch event and we'll understand how it works and how it is variant or different from our broadcast channel and also I'm writing a blog for this so I'll provide the blog link in the description hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you